Hey. Happy 30th birthday. I love you so, 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 so much. And for your 30th birthday, um, it's an important one and I wanted to get you something special. Um, and so as I was thinking about it, I realized that the memories that we have together are so much more special than any physical gift that I could get you. And so that said, for your birthday this year, uh, we all decided to come together to create this video for you to share some of our favorite memories together. So obviously I'll go first. Um, <laughs> uh, when I started thinking about this, I realized that it was actually going to be a little bit harder than I first thought because we just have so many great memories together. Um, but of course, the one that comes to mind immediately would be our first date. Um, <laughs> I think that we were probably both a little bit nervous considering um, you forgot your wallet and I was late because I forgot my shoes the first time. Um, but we we made it through a rough start, but it turned out all right. Um, and what I really remember the most about our first date was that as I was driving home, my stomach actually hurt because I had been laughing so hard the entire time. And honestly, we've pretty much been laughing like that ever since. Um, from Fairhill to Mansion to Carpenter to Mountain and then all the way back home to Allentown. Um, <laughs> speaking of Allentown, I couldn't let this chance pass without sharing my ultimate favorite memory of Mr. Darren Nash. Um, this brings us back to, I think it was like 2011, 2012. Um, back when we were both in high school still, I was walking down the fourth hall near Masikas' classroom, for those of you that are familiar, and I saw the cutest guy in school walking um, the opposite way down the hallway towards me. Uh, he had perfectly blonde, swishy hair and was wearing his iconic zebra print pants. And as he was passing me, he looked at me and said, looking good <laughs> and I absolutely swooned I lost it I still remember it to this day um and every time that I think about that I just think about how badly I wish that I could go back and tell myself my little high school self how we would all end up now um and that one day I would be your girlfriend um so all of that said I love you so 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 much and I hope you have the best birthday and an even better 30th year. Love you. Yo, what up, D? Happy 30th, man. I'll tell you what, I have so many, many memories here that I'm thinking of. I probably have more memories with you than anyone else. So I'm just going to go through a couple that I thought were really fun. I remember when we were Uber driving home from Center City and you decided to bike home and you beat us back to Manton before we even got there. Um, I remember, uh, body checking those dudes in Stone Harbor after they were calling us shoebies and trying to run us over with their boogie boards. Um, I remember you, me, and Megan made a band and we played one song, one performance for Vern and Mom, and that was it. Uh, I remember seeing Dawn of the Planet of the Apes and you remember it's probably the funniest movie we ever saw. I remember when you and Ian went as the Wedgie Boys for Halloween that one year, and you won the Allentown Halloween costume contest for that. I remember all the years riding quads with you and Billy and Austin and Megan and Kyle. And I remember us eating watermelon in the summer, and the watermelon just, we're eating it, we're just trying to drip it down all over ourselves. I remember our dad taking out splinters with fishing lures when he still lived at his bachelor pad. And of course, all the pranks that you pulled. All the pranks, whether it was tying someone's shoes together or tying a firecracker onto my door. You had an endless amount of them. And other than that... Just thinking back to all of the different games we either made up or played when we were kids, man. We had trampoline whack-a-mole, ghost in the graveyard, asshole fishing. Um, we had ultimate waitress water. We made the cronk cards and sold them on the bus. We played get the Lowe's guys to say Home Depot, making Austin laugh as annoying as possible so Graham would get mad. And of course, all of the countless Monopoly hours in Utah that we played. 
man, I'll tell you what, for 30 years, we have a whole stock of memories, and I'm hoping we get 30 years for more, bud. Happy 30th. Hey, sweetheart. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Darren. Happy birthday to you. Just want to say happy birthday. Um, as far as memories are concerned, man, I got a ton of them. And to be honest with you, I don't want to embarrass you with them. But we'll throw out maybe, you know, the four-wheeler incident. I mean, you're the only person I know that could run themselves over with a four-wheeler while they're driving it. And, uh, um, oh my God, there are so many good memories. One, I got to start off though with the best one for me was the day you were born. I hope you have a wonderful 30th birthday. I am excited for you. I love you and wishing you all the best and can't wait to see you. Bye. Happy birthday, Darren. Hey, I got you your favorite dog too. She wants to say happy birthday. Say, Darren, happy birthday, Darren. Where's Darren? Where's Darren? Where's Darren? He always feeds you. Where's Darren? Nah, she doesn't want to look. Happy birthday, Dan. Hope to see more with health and happiness. You take care. Happy 30th birthday, Darren. You know, Darren, one of the things I love the most about you is every time you've been on vacation with us, you have the most fun out of every single person on the trip. Um, you're just so easy to travel with and always having a good time. And I just love that. I hope you have a great birthday. We love you. See you, Darren. Happy birthday, D. I'm going to have some footage of the shrimp tank you helped me set up, play over a story about how we used to drive around with our longboards bombing hills back in Allentown. Ah, Cheryl Lane. It was a road that teed off of a main highway. It was, it had a very large and gradual hill that was freshly paved. Perfect for longboarding. Uh, we, luckily we started pretty low on the hill because we sure underestimated its size. You see, Cheryl Lane slopes into the highway. Uh, from the road it looks like it doesn't slope at all. Of course, Darren realized this early enough to roll onto a nearby embankment. But I was not so aware, and I continued to gain speed down the hill, uh, and I turned onto the grass early to avoid the highway, and I flew off my board upside down, uh, and I carved a fairly large skid into the ground with my shoulder. Good times. Happy birthday, D. I remember when... It was Ian's birthday party in second grade, and you shot my brother Luke with a paintball gun, and he cried. And that's my favorite memory. Happy birthday. Darren Nash, it's your old pal Dan Lamb here. Just finishing up a long day here at work. Looking forward to getting together later on in the week for your 30th birthday, cuz. Just celebrated mine. Welcome to the club. Uh, wishing you a happy and healthy 30th. And another happy and healthy 30 more after that, you know what I mean? You and I have been friends for quite a while now. I think that friendship was truly cemented when we both saw Mr. Wiederspan, our first grade teacher, take a slam from the top rope, stack two desks on top of one another to hang something on the ceiling, and then put a chair on top of that. Talk about Danger Russ. Uh, he took a hard slam, and you and I were the first to see it. He tried getting up, didn't have a bit of air in his lungs when he tried to talk to the class either. I think you and I will probably remember that for the rest of our lives. Hey, happy birthday, D-Boy Squiz. Here's your gift, a little dance for you. Oh, damn, look at that a little nice cone suckage. Must have been the best flavor ever. Fish food, mm. Eddie. So I'm not really sure who you are or have any memories, except for you calling onions ungins, bringing sweet Lou into our lives. And that one time in 2016, when we rode our bikes to Dolphin, split citywides, and gin and tonics, got obliterated. We tried to ride home, but you watched me whiff it down a curb and bust open my chin. 
Oh, and here's a uh, happy birthday fart for you, D-Boy. Stick to your right. Stick to the right. Now out here on my ranch, I like to work real hard, so it's important for me to take some time out and wish you a happy 30th birthday. When I started thinking about all our memories that we have, I wasn't exactly sure where to begin. It could be from when we were back in preschool playing Pokemon in Graham and Pop's backyard in the jungle gym, or all the hundreds of quad rides that we've taken as kids, or even still now, or the infinite amount of fishing trips we've gone on and just days fishing. Of course, all of our Utah trips and Vermont trips when we were growing up and that we're still having now. I think one of the most memorable trips was when we went to Poe Patty since, you know, it was so recent. We were drinking boot juice and looking for, you know, holes to the other side of the earth. It's safe to say that it definitely wasn't a normal fishing trip. I'll make this short by saying I'm so excited to continue making memories with you for a lifetime, especially the memories that we're going to make in a couple weeks on this long ass trip out west. Happy birthday, brother. Peach and butter boy. Butter boy? Just kidding. Happy birthday, D-Money. Thanks for always hooking a sister up with that Tito surprise on the ski lift. Love you. Can't wait to shred. <laughs> D Nash turns a big 30. Happy fucking birthday. D baby. Happy birthday, dude. 30 years old? That's crazy, man. Uh I miss you a lot. I wish that I saw you uh a hundred times more than I did. I'm stuck out here. You're out there. I wish I could be there to celebrate in person with you today. Um, but making this video had me thinking about some of my favorite <laughs> memories with you. And uh, there are different chapters of the Darren saga in my mind. Chapter, early chapters have to do with, uh, I, this is going to be hard to explain, but when we were in high school and middle school, when it was like straight hair over the eyes, Darren era, there's, you had this stride in the skinny jeans when we all used to wear women's pants. <laughs> You had specifically this walk that you would do where it was like a very small gate. And that has, every time that I have thought about like that era of all of us hanging out, when I think of you, I think of like the way that you would move. You were like, a <laughs> you were just very swift with it, which makes sense that we transitioned into when we lived at Gerard together, the nunchucks, bro. What? You were actually good at them which is interesting. I have very fond memories of uh, fighting you with nunchucks in the kitchen at 1.30 in the morning and various times of day. Sometimes I'd come home from work or, or help the moon or something and uh, we would have to fight. It would, we, it would have to happen. Um, yeah, I mean, I could go on Mother Acoustic in the basement. I love you, man. I, I miss you. I wish you nothing but the best. Happy birthday. Hey, everyone. It's Julian. I just want to say, Darren is that boy. He's a decent cook, a decent fisherman, and always down to grab a snack or drink. Most importantly, he's a good friend. Darren and I met when we were 20 years old. Once upon a time, he was the random guy moving into our shared Philly apartment. I didn't expect to find a best friend or share four different apartments with him, but the power of music, whiskey, Call of Duty and doing stupid shit will do that to you. We biked, stayed up late, motorcycled, and drank our way through Philly. 
We got Christmas trees. Went to Colorado and fed squirrels together. Oh! 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 oh he took the <laughs> apple! Dude. I love you, bro. Thanks for being you. Happy birthday. Are you saying Darren or not? Just say happy Darren. birthday, Darren. <laughs> happy, happy birthday, birthday Darren. <laughs> Hi, Darren. Happy birthday. Any memories? <laughs> it's your oh. name. <laughs> Just Any memories? say the day. Say the day and the... Uh... Well, all I do, I, I, I remember skiing a lot and hope to come out skiing this year. And uh, I don't know what else to say. Just happy birthday. <laughs> yeah, Darren. I just had a good memory of us. I remember when we took the trip out west and all the good times we had. But I remember when we went up on biking, mountain biking. And we were coming down the mountain and all of a sudden, all of a sudden you went to stop and you went right over the top of the handlebars. <laughs> we got to the bottom. Austin, he wanted to go back up. You and I, we had enough. Remember that? Happy birthday.